right, my artists, hello, Miss Q here. We've been looking at some Australian Aboriginal artwork and artwork that tells stories, right? We know in Australia, and there are a lot of snakes, right? There are a lot of koala bears, kangaroos. I'm going to do a more advanced drawing if you really want to challenge yourself, and we will draw a snake, which is in a lot of the Aboriginal dot paintings. Right, and it'll look something like this with a lot of color and pattern. I'm going to use uh, crayons, okay? So if you have crayons, markers, if you're at home and you have paint, that's perfect. All right, but remember, we'll use our lines and lots of little dots, boop, 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 that create a line, all right? So when we look at it, our mind completes a line even though it's just made of little dots, okay? But we'll use our pencil, our paper, Okay, and then any color that you have to create these really awesome dot paintings. We'll make some beautiful patterns. Go ahead and get your supplies ready. All right, you can pause the video. I will pull my camera down so we can see my paper. All right, and if you have lined paper, that works perfect, perfectly. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna start at the top of my page. We'll start with the head of the snake first, okay? Remember to just break down those shapes and lines anytime we're drawing. All right, I'll start with a curved line, okay? This is the nose or the front of my snake, so I want this to be smaller and curve this back around, okay? Oop, it's like an oval shape here and here. Right, and you draw lightly with your pencil. I'm drawing a little darker so you can still see my lines. I know I typically use the Sharpie, but with my Sharpie that'll be too dark. My colors won't stand out. So we're using pencil today. Now I wanna draw two little lines that come out from here. So this is the head. I have the neck started, okay? But we want to do this a little bit at a time, okay? So let's go ahead and start with either, can you start with either side of the neck? I'm going to start with this line. And I'm going to start with a curve, okay? And now I'll stop. I did a little bit and I'll stop. I'm going to come to the other side. Following along, we're trying to keep the same distance between these two lines, okay? All right, so now I'll start over here, and I want the snake to be wrapping around. And a lot of the Australian artwork, they're not just straight, okay? A snake can be straight, but we're gonna have this one curving around, okay? We want an interesting shape that's moving around. Remember, these tell a story. So I'm going to go ahead and curve this line over here. And we'll do a, another big curve and see how I have created a curve and then I stop so I can adjust my hand, move my hand. So now I want to turn my hand over here, curve around again and stop. And let's adjust again so we're more comfortable. Now I want to curve, a big curve this way. So let's go ahead and whoop, do that big curve this way. And it's up to you how you want to end this. I might just curve mine around like this, boop. Just let it run right off the page. You could have this be the end of your snake if you want. All right, mine's gonna run right off that page. Okay, so as I'm going in, and this for a more realistic look, instead of keeping the same distance here, I want to widen it out a little bit. Snakes are a little thicker in the middle of their body than they are towards their neck and the tail. So let's go ahead and start widening, getting a wider curve here. So I'm going to curve, whoop, draw that little line and stop. I'm going to make this a little wider. I don't want my hand to block you here. So I'm curving out like so and stop. Added that curve, stop. Okay. Whoops. Added that curve. Let's get a little wider here and stop. 
bring your head down. And now we want our snake to get a little thinner again because this is our body, our thickest area in the middle. And now we're getting back to the end. So let's get that a little thinner, okay? Just do your best. Wait for the snake. Right? If you really don't like snakes, and some people don't, or if you don't care for snakes, remember there's also the turtle video for our Aboriginal artwork and our koala bear video, okay? Or you can draw any animal, any animal you want. It doesn't have to be an Australian animal. Maybe your family, maybe a tree. Maybe a beautiful bird. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give myself some guidelines before I come in with my color. So I'm going to add some patterns and designs, I'm putting two ovals for eyes for my little snake here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a pattern on him. I might put a circle on the top of his head and then a line to guide my dots. That's going to go just right in the middle of my snake. And I'm gonna do this all the way down, follow him down, curve. Remember we can still pull the hand away, do a big curve and stop. Big curve and stop. Big curve and stop. Turning my hand this way. Big curve and stop. And curve and stop. Okay, we have our little snake friend here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring him in before I add lines to my background. And that's so because I want so many lines and dots here so I don't start confusing where my lines are. Let's go ahead and give him some color. So I'm going to put, you can use any color you want. I might make him green. So I'm gonna go ahead and just first follow my pencil lines, the outline or that contour line of my snake. And I'm pushing really hard, kind of coloring in to give him a nice outline. So as I'm adding the background pattern, I don't kind of lose where my snake is. I want him to stand out. Right, I'm doing the same thing as I follow the line, taking a curve, curving, then stopping a little bit at a time, just a little bit of lines at a time. Right, artists often do this, but sketching it out, little lines at a time. Ooh, it already looks interesting to me. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some curving lines and I'll go ahead and put my pencil aside. You can use your pencil through for the whole background first if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use my orange. I'm gonna add some curving lines. Maybe start from a dot in the corner here, at the end of the snake. And start curving out. Right. I'm going to overlap. I'm gonna let this snake be in the front. We're overlapping because I'm going to add a line here and then continue my line on the other side of my snake. Right? So this curve line, boop, it looks like it's behind him. Right, can you see that orange? Let me make sure we can see that orange that stands out on... There we go. Right, he's overlapping. He is in front of this pattern. Okay. So there's a little bit of space there, right? Okay, let's keep going. Boop, 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 boop. You know, we could do this with anything. Instead of a snake, maybe you're drawing a mungus. 
Hmm? Aboriginal Among Us art. Nope, I'm just adding some dots here for a pattern. I'm going to skip. Boop, so every other section, we'll put some dots. Then we'll skip. Add some dots. Mm -hmm. All right, so I added that green so I know where my snake is. I won't add any dots inside of him yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe inside of my blank curves, I'm going to add some purple dots. It's an interesting pattern. Okay, and if you have a marker, you can do this, boop, 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 with your marker, but be sure not to push down too hard so you don't break the, the tip of your marker, okay? Just be really lightly with it. If you have your crayon or your colored pencil, you can push down, put a little pressure on the paper so your colors start standing out. So along the line that's down my snake's back, I'm going to go ahead and put boop, 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 little dots all the way. And we can use any color we want. I think I will use blue. I'll go ahead and fill in the blue that's here. Start adding these dots all the way down. I know this takes some time to do. Just take your time. If you need a break, you need to put your crayon down and kind of stretch your hands, your arms, stretch out. Pause the video. You can take a break. Right, these are beautiful works of art. Beautiful ways to tell a story. Right, maybe my snake has green eyes. I'll give my snake some green eyes. Oh, and I'm going to come in with my... Oh, I have an idea. Let's start adding some more patterns to my snake. I might add some sort of a V shape or an arrow. I'm going the other way oh, here. Other way. I might start putting these all around my snake. And I want to put a different color in every section. So let me go ahead and get my red. And we'll put a little red here. Fill it in. But now I'll skip this section and put some red here. You can use any color you want. But I want to fill this in lightly so I don't blend with my blue or my green too much. Remember if you have colors or crayons or colored pencils, they'll try to blend on you and you mix them together. And we know our red and our green are complementary colors, so if next to each other they look brighter, but if I mix them together, they will turn into kind of a brown or a black, okay? A neutral. A neutral. Ooh, and maybe we'll put blue. Maybe I'll just lightly. Maybe we'll just lightly put a blue in here. Very, very lightly for my snake. And you can use your favorite colors, but we don't have to follow along with me exactly. Okay, let's add some more patterns, some more lines and dots. So over here, I have some negative space, meaning there's nothing there, right? These are my positive areas where I have something drawn. So let's go ahead and add some things here. I'm going to add just some swirling lines. Okay. 
corner here. Maybe the same thing up here. So now I'm going to switch colors. And let's go ahead and use maybe the green. I'm going to go the other way. With my curving lines. Right, remember we're going around our snake, not through our snake. I'm just adding big curving lines. Maybe this area of the section might be different. Maybe I will use my yellow and add some straight lines. Add straight lines. Okay, let me come back with my yellow and add some dots inside of these curves. Remember that purple and yellow? These are complementary colors. Red. I'm gonna add some red in here. I'm gonna follow this spiral around. Just adding some more lines. Maybe my blue. Just all kinds of colors. Just want to add. Ooh, let's maybe add some zigzag lines for some interest here. Oops. bigger and smaller. I'm just letting my zigzags wrap around my snake. I might come in. You know what? I like that line. I want to add that line back. In the middle of my snake, connect those dots. I can do that. And I might put some orange back over, maybe here. Or, ooh, maybe inside every point, every triangle shape over here. And just dots and lines create these interesting patterns. Remember, just keep adding more colors, more lines. If you're not sure where you are, maybe you were trying to do a pattern that was every other triangle and we get a little lost in all the colors in the lines, just keep going, just keep adding colors, okay? Because remember, when you look at your picture overall, you step back and look at it, you're not going to notice those little details, all right? You'll remember where you made a mistake. Remember, we have to do that to make art. We just learn from it. But overall, when you look at the whole thing, it's beautiful. Okay. All right, my artists, I hope you enjoyed oh, your Aboriginal snake picture. Right. After you finish, you can go ahead and hold them different ways, decide how you would hang this up, show someone at home. Right? Remember that kind of changes the story. Now he's kind of crawling down. I think I, I kind of like him crawling upwards like this. Maybe this is a storm happening and he's leaving the sand in the desert and he's heading to maybe some trees. Maybe these represent pointy leaves for shelter from a storm. Okay, my artists. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon in person or on Zoom. Goodbye.